All right, everyone, welcome to another configuration video. And today we're going to be taking a look at SMAD antivirus. And God, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Anyways, what is SMAD antivirus? Well, essentially, it is based out of Indonesia. So as you can see, the website is not in English. Uh, you can go ahead and use Google Translator if you want to translate it, but Internet Explorer does not offer it. And I'm not going to install Google Chrome on here at the moment just because, well, that's going to kind of change the baseline of our tests because that could possibly add adding another program into it. So not going to install. Anyways, continuing on, uh, what is it supposed to do? Well, SMAD is designed to be a secondary opinion scanner in a sense of running alongside your existing anti-malware solution. It's supposed to be real time. So keep in mind, it's going to be running the same way, let's say Malwarebytes does or Malwarebytes Pro does. So, all right. Let's go ahead and start downloading it. So right over here, if you navigate to uh, smad.net here, you'll see on the right side a free download. You go ahead and click that. We'll be prompted at the bottom here with a download window notification. Go ahead and save it to the desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and clear that out. And let's do our usual, usual test here and take a look at how big the file is. So setup file is really small, only 1.24 megabytes. It's pretty nice to see. And let's go ahead and run the installation now. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, that's right. I always like to do that, but I shouldn't do that because that's not the way the average user would run a program. Double click on it. Uh, as you can see, Windows does not have, this is not digitally signed, which is kind of scary. And I know I've always told you guys to be uh, very leery of digitally or not digitally signed applications, which you should be. Um, so yeah, that, that kind of really threw up some red flags and scared me a little bit at first. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and run it. Uh, then once again, the publisher is unknown. It's not digitally signed, so user account controls are prompting me. And of course, you can choose your language right here. We're going to choose English so that I can actually understand it. We're going to click Next here, accept the license agreement. And I've noticed it's already an accept. A lot of them have it on Do Not Accept, and you have to actually click Accept. But that's fascinating how they do that differently. We're going to click Next. Uh, do we want to create a desktop icon? Yes, we do. And we're going to go ahead and click Install. So, so far, installation, I'd have to say, is very easy. All right, so it looks like something is popping up here. Uh, looks like the splash screen. OK, so it's stating that uh, Smart, SMA, capital R-T, protection is active. Well, awesome. I guess they're trying to like trademark something or make it look uh, a little bit snazzier by adding capitals and stuff. Anyways, so it's already launched uh, in a sense, but it has a checkbox here to launch SMAD AV. Once it's done installing, we're going to say yes and click finish. All right, now it's asking me once again what I want my language in. I thought I've already selected English, but I guess we'll select English again. All right, here is the interface. Uh, what do I think right off the bat? First thoughts. I think it looks kind of pieced together. I, I think the edges are a little rough. It just looks like something that was made in a garage or, or just in somebody's basement. So that's my thoughts on the interface right now. It just doesn't look as polished as some of the other uh, bigger antivirus companies. So anyways, moving into more than nuts and bolts of the interface. What do we have here? We have scanner, reports, virus. So we have some tabs up here. Uh, so obviously reports here. This is kind of like your uh, scan reports after you've scanned the computer. Virus, I assume this is a uh, quarantine. Clean all check. Yeah, so this looks like a quarantine. Uh, registry, obviously to quarantine the registry. Hidden, so I'm assuming that's what that is. Now keep in mind, guys, there's not a lot. I could not find a lot of information online. Now maybe it's just me, but I really was having a difficult time actually finding even reviews on um, SMAD antivirus just to, in a sense, get an idea of how to pronounce this name. <laughs> see what other people are pronouncing it as. That's what I sometimes do. If I don't know how to pronounce a name, I'll see if other people, uh, how they pronounce it. Anyways, uh, protect. So uh, we get scanner tab obviously done with uh, protect. Uh, you can see protection is active currently. And then we have the database right over here which states that it was updated May 2nd and it's June 7th. That's a little old. So let's check for updates here. You're running the newest. Okay. So I guess we're running the newest version. Uh, we have upload viruses right there. So we do have um, our signatures obviously right here. 
Now, judging by that date, I'm assuming, and I couldn't find this either, I'm assuming that SMAD uses their own signatures, that they do not uh, farm them out to any other sort of vendor. So, I'm assuming that. And I, like I said, I couldn't find anything on that either. I was looking to see if they uh, use any other signatures besides their own, but it looks like I believe they do use their own signatures. Obviously, you can disable the protection right here, exit the program, uninstall it if you want. I don't know really why you do that. Tools right here. Well, that's interesting. It's saying that a uh, suspected file is saying it's infected. Well, it can't be infected because this is a clean virtual machine. <laughs> so uh, right off the bat, I'm thinking that is a false positive. And um, I'm going to leave it because... I'm just gonna see what it does. It's gonna be gonna be, I'm gonna be curious to see what it does. But nevertheless, this is a clean virtual machine, guys. There is uh, nothing installed on here besides the programs that you see right here. Anyways, moving on. Uh, process manager right here, the top. It's kind of nice. You can actually go ahead and uh, right-click on any application. You can go to actions. You can kill it. You can restart it, suspend it, stuff like that. So if we click restart. You will see that you'll get prompted. Are you sure when to restart explore.exe? It killed explore and now it's going to start it back up again. So it's kind of nice that you can do that. Uh, whether it is going to be able to circumvent any sort of malware attacks against it, we will have to see in our tests. However, that could see this being a very useful tool, almost like Komodo kill switches. System editor. Obviously, this is areas uh, that it's going to go ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me, protect the system. Uh, so that's that's kind of nice to see. Uh, WinForce, they call it. Uh, this is basically kind of like a um, way to force open task manager. If, let's say, a piece of malware is preventing it to open, it'll be interesting to see if this is able to operate, especially within the um, uh, removal test that we do. Sometimes we have issues opening up task manager in those, those tests. Uh, registry editor right here. And then the system configuration utility for some reason is not working. MS config. Yeah, I can go right down here, type it in. Whoops, maybe I can't. If I can type MS config, and you can see it opens up just fine. However, you click on here and it does not work. So, not necessarily knowing um, what's going on with that. Maybe it's because I didn't run it as an administrator, but it um, would be nice to, to actually see that. So, work. Anyways, I um, have not really figured out, I don't have a clear answer on this. Now, I think this is a way to actually protect your system files. You can actually lock your C drive or unlock it and as well as other drives on here. Uh, because if I still go in there, I can definitely delete things, add things, and I'm not prompted by SMAD at all in the way of what I am doing in there. So I can go ahead, I can delete this stuff. As you can see, no problem. Um, now maybe once you restart the system, which will be interesting, let's do that. Um, maybe once you restart the system, it will come back. That could be what it's what it's meaning, almost like um, Shadow Defender does, where it's taking a um, image of your system and uh, making it so that if anything such as, mal such as malware were to alter anything, just by restarting your system, you can get it back to its operational state. So that I don't, yeah, that's that's the only thing I think of about that. I haven't, um, maybe I'll, I'll do some little bit of digging in the break here just to see if I can find anything else, but I have done some searches and I haven't come up with uh, much in the way of information about this program. So that's pretty much the tools tab. A lot of interesting stuff and a lot of stuff that could possibly be, possibly be useful within the tools tab. Manage, not much to go on in here. As you can see, oh, here's the quarantine. Okay, so that stuff in the beginning was just looks like um, this right here looks like it's just logs in a sense. It's nothing in the way of quarantine, so I was incorrect. Sorry about that. Manage. So here's your quarantine right here. Uh, scanner settings. You can obviously uh, uh, adjust advanced settings right here, but in order to do that, you must have the uh, pro version here to manage the uh, exceptions list and, and stuff like that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Theme color. This is kind of cool. They give you a nice little slider right here, so you can pretty much select any color you want. Uh, so we can even go if we want. Nope, I'm not going to turn the lock on. We can go pure black if we want, as you can see. Uh, we can go pure white if we want, or anything in between. So, kind of a cool little feature there. Uh, and then obviously they do have our pro version. They have a paid version and a uh, or free version and a pro version. So obviously you can see right here the pro version versus free. 
Uh, you get an exceptions list with the Pro. Um, maximize and resize the interface, which I guess you can't do with this one. So, I mean, if you really, really want to do that, you will have to pay for the program, I guess. I don't know why you'd make that an advanced Pro feature. Change theme colors. I thought I just did that. How is that part of the Pro? I don't know. Theme looks pretty changed to me. Change theme colors. I have the free right now. And, uh, well, I just changed the theme color. So, I guess the uh, programmers over there, it's mad, might want to uh, actually make it so you can't change it unless they have changed that in this list. I, I don't know. Either way, not a big deal. Uh, Multi-language support. Well, thank God it's available in the free version. I would not be testing this right now. Uh, profit use. Okay. Admin password. You only, have to, uh, only available in the pro. So, scan faster. So, I guess that's kind of a way they can... Um, improve their scan speeds. I think that's in here. Yeah, right here in the advanced settings right here, you can do the uh, active SMAD turbo. So that's kind of interesting. What are we using for memory usage? So let's take a look at that before we go ahead and end this here. As we can take a look at this, where is it? Well, actually I'm gonna use Process Explorer. I don't know why I'm using that. Process Explorer will give us a much more accurate workload on how it's doing. So uh, let's see what is it doing right now. Here is SMAD AV, and I believe that is the only process running right now. Yes, and it's only using currently seven. Um, oh, I'm sorry, no, it's currently using and it's working set right here, 17 meg. So not bad at all. That's actually uh, that's actually pretty good. So let me just uh, compare with Task Manager to make sure I'm looking at the right set of numbers there. I always get that confused. I am just really feeling stupid today, I guess. I am looking at So yeah, working, um, so yeah, if you want to look at it the way the Task Manager does, in the sense of how much memory it's using right now, um, or at least, at least idle, uh, it's using currently seven meg, so not bad at all. But um, work set, working set is going to be using roughly around 17 megs. So, that's it for this video, guys. This is a configuration video. Um, oh, so I guess I should say what settings. Well, I really haven't uh, thought of any settings in here that I would change just because of the fact that everything seems to be very locked down. There's not, not much you can actually change with the uh, the settings here. Um, yeah, I pretty much would leave. That's the only setting I would have changed. Obviously, color, whatever, not a big deal. So overall, I would have to say in here, leave the settings as default. They really are um, good the way they are. If you do full scan, obviously that changes where it's gonna scan. And then um, quick scan, obviously will uncheck the full C drive and scan just the uh, critical areas of the system. So, sorry about that, almost forgot about that. So that's it guys for this video. That's the configuration video, not much in the way of uh, content, but I know some people do like to just watch how to configure it and make sure they have their programs running as smoothly as possible. So I'll see you guys next in the prevention video. We're going to take a look at how well SMAD AV is able to block malware trying to intrude from the internet or a browser of such. So I'll see you in the next video, guys.